I want to show you one little modification I've actually done on my QAD rest. Now, this isn't something I wouldn't recommend for everybody, but I think for any of the advanced bow techs out there or people that are definitely familiar doing their own equipment, this is something that you might like. You might want to try this out. So, uh, and a few people have noticed, so this is my bow that I've been taking with me on the tack. Uh, one of the things that I'll tell you is at the tack, I typically do not shoot felt on my rest because I don't want to be wearing through that and kind of having my tip of my arrow go lower and lower as I wear through felt. I want something that's just the same all the time. Target archers, for the most part, stick with launcher blades type rests, which are just very repetitive and consistent. It's just a lizard tongue supporting it. And honestly, most of my medals were won with a lizard tongue style rest. So one of the things that I did on my QAD rest was I actually wanted my rest to cradle my arrow, which I'm shooting a six millimeter Sonic. So I wanted this thing to perfectly cradle that arrow. So you can see there is, I don't like, if I tip it to the side, whatever, I am in there. There's a little trough that's in there. Now you don't want to go too far or you can you know, damage the integrity of that launcher, uh, but you can see I have gone down just a little bit in there. It's the exact diameter of that six millimeter arrow. So instead of this fitting in kind of a, I guess what I'd call a little bit more tolerant or a sloppy V, I've actually made this into a full blown channel that perfectly holds that six millimeter arrow. So even if I've got a, a, a vicious crosswind, even if I'm tilting a little bit, even if I'm a little bit nervous drawing back, this thing is really encapsulated in there. Now it might be too tight if I switched to felt for hunting season, but for an outdoor target accurate bow where you don't want to have any margin in any slot between your arrow shaft and that rest, then that's what I did. So here's how I did it. I actually just found a screwdriver shank that was six millimeters in diameter, the perfect size. I heated that thing up with a torch and then I just simply took that hot screwdriver, got it perfectly squared with that launcher and brought that thing right down inside there to melt that little trough in there. And so by melting that little trough, I've taken out all that play. I've really tightened up some things down range and yeah, it's worked out pretty good. So that's just a quick little hack for any of you out there that are trying to tighten up that connection point between your arrow shaft diameter and the diameter of that whale tail or that draw away or drop away or limb driven style rest that's on the market.